Conestoga high quality pre-machined cabinet components are valued by professional cabinet makers for their expert engineering and craftsmanship. Conestoga cabinet systems give customers more product options and save time and money. We're going to show you how to build our cabinets using simple tools and basic assembly techniques. Cabinet sides, tops, and bottoms all come with pre-inserted splines used to hold parts together until glue dries. On front frame styles, the side is recessed in the spline groove. On front frame rails, the top and bottom butt against the rails. Glue must be applied to unfinished surfaces any place two parts are joined. Front frame styles and rails, female dovetails, the back rabbits of sides, and in grooves of backs. After you've finished assembling a cabinet, use a damp cloth to wipe away any excess glue. Pins or staples are used to fasten the back to the sides, top, and bottom. If a side will be unexposed in the finished kitchen, pin through the sides into the back. If sides are exposed or flush, toenail the back to sides. Have these basics on hand, woodworking glue, rubber mallet, and a pin or staple gun with one inch pins or staples. Working with the longer piece of the front frame, begin by applying glue to both sides of both of the spline grooves. Attach the front frame to the top of the cabinet. Apply glue to both sides of the spline grooves on the other front frame. Attach this piece to the top of the cabinet. Now attach the bottom of the cabinet to both front frame pieces. Apply glue to both sides of the spline groove in the styles of the front frames. You'll also apply glue to the female dovetails of the sides. Slide the sides onto the male dovetails of the top and bottom. The splines in the sides will seat securely in the front frame grooves. If you're working on a BLS cabinet, place the shelves or Lazy Susans inside the cabinet before installing the backs. Apply glue to the female dovetails of the backs and the back rabbit of the sides. Slide each back panel onto the male dovetails of the top and bottom. Following the scribe lines, fasten the backs to the top and bottom. Place the pins or staples no less than every three inches. Apply glue to the back groove of the sides and the grooves in the back slant. Insert the back slant between the back grooves in the backs. Make sure the groove in the back slant aligns with and captures the rabbit in the top and bottom. Following the scribe line, fasten the back to the top and bottom, spacing the pins or staples no less than three inches apart. Remember to wipe away any extra glue once your assembly is complete. If you have assembly questions or need more information on Conestoga's cabinet systems, please refer to the contact information shown on this screen.